Oh, hello there, Internet. Didn't see you. We're playing Super Meat Boy on Instant Replay Live. We didn't... We, you've never seen the Internet? I, I didn't know they were going to be there right then. Okay. Um, right. Oh, I'm in the forest. Look at this cute little meat blob. Oh, I don't want to be there. I want to be in the forest. <laughs> Wait, can I start over here or do I have to unlock it first? I, it looks like you can start there. That's weird. All right, I want to start in the forest. I've played some random levels of this game. Oh, Dr. Fetus. Dr. Fetus is going to be punching my girlfriend. <laughs> wow. He yeah. He's going to be punching my girlfriend a lot during this. I've played it a couple times myself, but I never got very far. Uh, I don't handle frustration games very well, so that's why we're letting Joe play. Um, it, it's nice to do Instant Replay Live with a break from playing the... <laughs> hey, girlfriend! I get to just kind of hang out and you handle the tough stuff. Gosh, that is... Doctor that Beast. is some harsh abuse against women. <laughs> uh, how do I skip the... We don't need to watch every one of those. I probably shouldn't laugh at that. Um... Hey. What have you done? I accidentally pressed back. Alright, yeah, 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 okay, okay. It's confusing. <laughs> yes, upward! So I, I fully expect you to become 100% frustrated. Possibly 110% frustrated. I don't know, I really like these kind of games. And I think, I mean, the, so there is the added challenge now. What that, is happening? What do you mean? Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll show you this time a little more. Oh, this is a really hard one. How do you do the, the running jump start? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not that. Okay. I haven't done this on, control on controller before. I did it on keyboard, so... Well. Oh, I gotta hold it down. Okay. Yeah, so he... So when he, he gets when her I get to my girlfriend, away. I get yeah, that. he punches her and... Oh, and it shows you all of the other yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. I see. That's um, annoying. I mean, it's no, not... It's, awesome. it's a cool feature. Because you get to see him, like... You know, when you start to get good, there's a couple that are still running along. Yeah, I, it's but, a cool uh, feature, but it's... Not kind enough. of just rough for the first, like, glance of trying to watch it. Oh, there's a bandage down there. Being an outsider's perspective. Actually, I'll do this. Let's think about this. Your, your plan is to beat this game, which is a very lofty goal. Do you think you can actually beat it um, and collect all the bandages? I don't know, but I, I, I bandage I'm going to tell so. you no. <laughs> there's no way. I, I feel much more confident about it than you do, apparently. Here we go. Yes, you do. The Holy Mountain. I think this is the first warp zone entrance. Warp zone? Yeah. Let's see. I mean, it's... I, yeah, we're not it's... breaking any new ground here, but it's a very pretty game. It's, it's very neat. Uh, achievement a lot. Uh, Super Meat Boy arcade version. Huh. Yeah. Oh, neat. Um, I've never seen this. This is really hard. I don't think I have. Okay. So I think... I need to basically get a running start and go right here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> then you just have to fall right in. I made it! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. So he doesn't take her in that one. Yeah. That's weird. Well, you know, this, is, this, is, this was made in the 80s. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Before they had the technology to yeah. make Super Fetus Man a jerk. Mm -hmm. Super Fetus Man. <laughs> in the 80s, he was called Super Fetus Man. <laughs> they changed his name right around the time they changed Dr. Robotics' uh -huh. name. Uh-huh. Oh gosh, we just talked about that. Yeah, yeah. I think we've we've done that topic to death, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, we don't need enough. to ever bring up is... the false name <laughs> again. What, are you not going for the bandage now? After you spent um, all that time on the first no. one? You know what? It's gonna take me. It's gonna be too much. I'm I already gonna so. have. I, yeah, I, I I don't think it's worth going for the bandages. You you are absolutely right that I'm going to have problems with this game eventually. So I might as well minimize things I'm going to have problems with. Yeah, let's just go for completion, not for uh, completionist. <laughs> not for perfection. Oh. Okay. Uh, if you die here, do you go back to the regular gameplay? Or? No, I have to go back to the front of the map. Oh, man. Um, I can, well, so I can start, I can go through this again. I can't remember if I can start at this level or not. But, um, I'm going to have to jump down. You're going to jump down? Jump, I want to jump down. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm always jumping. I'm all, oh. right. I don't need to do these though. I think it's best. The warp zones are fun, but let's just try to get through the game oh, as fast as possible. Doing it the pansy way. Well, that's not the fastest way possible. I, okay, B button, start button. You know. That's 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 not what we're doing. Okay. Every time with this. Yes, I know. 
This is the dramatic squirrel sound effect. <laughs> the uh, groundhog, prairie dog, prairie dog. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still bear a scar from uh, our uncle's prairie dog. Oh really? Yeah. Um, I don't remember his name, but the one that we had at grandma's house. Hey girl. Their their Look. pet that um, I towards the end of the time that they had it. And I don't know what happened to it, if it died, or if they had to get rid of it, or or what, which is sad. But uh, towards the end of that time frame, it was always very skittish, but it was giving me that one moment of, like, I'm gonna be nice and let you pet my head. And so I was petting it, and I had stuck my finger through the cage, unsupervised, because I thought, I like Never animals, before. animals must like me. Um, and, and every Disney movie ever should have told you that, you know, animals want to be. Yeah. Friend. Gosh, I must have been like six years old, or no, no, older. I'm sorry, nine years old. So you would have been like three. Um, so I don't even know if you remember the prairie dog we had. I don't at all. Yeah, that's funny. I, I didn't think about how young I was. Um, but anyhow, uh, stuck my finger through. It latched on, and I had to like pull as hard as I could as a nine-year-old boy. Um, with this thing, like, pressed up against the wireframe cage, just holding its teeth on my finger. And, uh, and I have a little white nubbin scar. Oh, I just bumped my microphone bad. That's gonna sound good. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, but That's anyhow, I have a, a little white scar from where that was. Uh, forever. Mm. Little, little story about me. I've got a star. I've got a scar on my finger from where I, I poked the oven on uh, accident. Mm. Yeah, I have um, another scar on the uh, same finger. I'm looking for it now. It's, it's a little dark in this room to be able to see it. Um, it's mostly kind of grown away, but it was a burn where I uh, I touched a hot pan. Oh yeah, it is the same finger. Touched a hot pan, and it just instantly blistered. And uh, that's on the opposite side of the same finger. Um, find the right angle for this. Whoa. And it, it left a weird sort of pattern in the scar, like it was a circle with lots of little, like, little teeny dots inside it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I don't know, I, I just noticed one day, years ago, that it had mostly grown away. Like, I just, it's still there. I can still feel that the skin is different, but I can't hardly see it anymore. Hmm. Or maybe my eyes are just going bad. <laughs> Worse. Worse than bad. They were already pretty bad. Whoa! Oh, I, <laughs> I don't need bandages. <laughs> no. The other scar I have, um, for, to talk about all my battle wounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you want to know how I got I've... the scars? <laughs> yes. There's our episode title right yeah. there. Yeah. Um, but I. Uh, uh, Mom tells this story like all the time because she's like traumatized by it. But I was getting dropped off at preschool, and I guess the idea I don't really remember the event very well at all. But the idea was that uh, you open the car door and an adult helps you out of the car because you know, yeah, kids fall. Um, and case in point, I stepped out of the car with no adult there. Um, and I fell and went straight onto the concrete and it jabbed a nice little hole in my forehead. <laughs> and uh, so this would have been before you were born. Um, but it, it nailed me and, um, or I nailed it maybe more accurately since the concrete didn't really move. <laughs> um, and to this day, when I scrunch up my forehead, you can see that I've got like a little dent in my forehead. I see <laughs> oh, I can see it yeah. now, yeah. <laughs> Internet, you can't see this, but no, I'm seeing it, and no. it is grisly. <laughs> no, it's not grisly. It's just a tiny little dent. There are teeth Wrinkle inside of in it? my skin. Oh, wow. That's um, my mouth. <laughs> That's 